All right, I'm taking you thrifting today and I'm immediately gonna start with some of my pickups. And at the end of the video, I'll show you some of the stuff I left behind. Uh, this is one of my favorite brands to resell as far as outerwear. The Patagonia outerwear is just always a pleasant sight when, <laughs> when I see it in a thrift store. Uh, this is a regular price tag, uh, but I do have a 20% off coupon. So, you know, about $8 for that. And I, it's perfect going into fall. These overalls really surprise me. I really don't pick up page jeans anymore. Um, like 99% of the time I'll pass on them, but I looked up and found these overalls and a lot of them are selling between 50 and hundred dollars. So I'm going to start it probably, you know, 90 to hundred dollars and hope for about 70. And I'm excited about those. So this is a new brand for me. I know this is just kind of a simple pair of trousers, but these were 50% off. And a lot of the comps were kind of around the $40 mark for similar pants. Um, here you can see the brand, and I just always like trying new brands for myself, so I grabbed those. This is a designer I've sold a couple times, and these are just a casual pair of, you know, chino pants with stripes on the side. This is Nelly Lotan, I think that's how you say it. And um, so with the 20% off coupon, $8, I'm guessing those will probably be somewhere in the 40 to 50 range, but none of this has been listed while I'm making this video. All of it will be listed by the time this video goes up. Uh, this is a pair of Diane Von Furstenberg pants. And the reason I picked them up initially was because this is a real leather trim on each side. And then they're just kind of a legging on the rest of it. So they look comfortable. I like the fact that it's a good material content. It is a designer that's expensive, but I decided to pass on those just to be safe. It was a little pricey. So here's a pair of joggers by Alo Yoga. These are the Moto joggers, and these also were 50% off with the color red. So, you know, $3.50 or $4 for these, and they seem to be in good condition. So I was excited about those. I think I've sold those before for $40 or $50. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret tag. This is a little short, uh, short set lingerie. And this is the gold, I'm gonna struggle here trying to show you. <laughs> it's the gold crown label. And I've sold this label once before, and it did pretty well. And so I, I love the fact that it's a size XL. It's a whole set. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I should get a decent amount, but um, we'll see when I go to list it. Also, I'm just trying it on to show for scale. Also kind of curious of, does it fit? It's a little oversized on me, but <laughs> it's also supposed to be comfortable. So I grabbed that. This is a designer that I've picked up once before and it's Jonathan. Simkai, I believe is how you would say it, or Simikai, anyways. Um, I picked up a skirt by this designer and that's how I learned about it. It is marked up a little bit and so I was uncertain if I should grab it, but I decided I would give this a shot. A lot of the comps for similar items are around the $50 mark, so we will see. Here's a Lululemon men's shirt and Lululemon men's has always historically moved pretty quickly for me. So while this isn't on sale besides my coupon and it's nothing special, um, you know, I'm thinking I should be able to get about 25. So, you know, $6 to 25, not a huge return, but again, I've had pretty decent luck selling men's uh, Lululemon. Also, I can find the size on here, which is always helpful. It definitely has these kind of uh, perforated holes in it. So it's nice for a cooling effect, but I grabbed it. This is a shirt by COS, which is kind of a bread and butter brand for me that I sell pretty regularly. Um, it does well for me, but I looked at the shirt and thought maybe it would fit me. And I always have such a hard time with button front shirts because of my chest. Um, and this one actually looks like it might work. And I think, you know, a basic black button down with a pair of jeans for real estate is a really great staple to have. So I decided to grab it. A little fun fact about LA Goodwills, we still can't access dressing rooms. Um, which <laughs> makes it hard, but I don't mind throwing things over my clothes, especially tops and stuff like that. But um, we also can't exchange if they don't fit. So yeah, I'm gonna grab this and hopefully get some use out of it for real estate. Also, if I decide that I don't wanna wear it too much or I end up not wearing it for a bit, it's an easy brand for me to sell and it's a good size. So here's the uh, girls line from Lululemon. I think it's Iviva. I'll show here in a second the tag, but I noticed the um, logo, which is slightly different than Lululemon, obviously, but if you know it, you know it. And it's a size 10 for girls. Some women actually buy this brand if they're on the more small petite side because they, you can buy it cheaper and it's still the same you know, Lululemon quality, but um, girls pricing obviously is a little bit lower, which is great. So I grabbed that one. 
Oh, jeez. It's warm out. All right, I just checked out, not because I'm done with the store, but because I have to make a real estate call. I have two offers out for real estate. And so anyways, I decided to come outside, make the phone call so I don't have background noise. And this is also the perfect time for me to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is Seed. So I'm fast forwarding to tomorrow morning to tell you all about Seed DS01 Daily Symbiotic. Every morning, the first thing I do is take two capsules of my DS01, which is a plant-based prebiotic and probiotic. The two main reasons why I'm taking this is for the digestive health, because it helps with healthy regularity and ease of bloating, and it also helps support healthy skin. So while I'm getting ready to take the dogs on a walk, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So it was developed for systemic benefits beyond digestive health. And it's the first in a pipeline of clinically studied next generation products. What's in it? It's 24 strain broad spectrum probiotic and prebiotic formulated for digestive gut immune and additional systemic benefits. This is sustainably delivered to my house every month and I keep the glass jar near my sink to remind me to take it every morning. The refills also come in a compostable bio-based packaging to keep the oxygen and moisture out. So when you are ready to try seed for yourself, you can get 20% off your first month's supply of seed by using code common tags at the checkout. Big thank you to seed for sponsoring this video and helping me feel great and just navigate my health journey, which has been really important this year for me. One additional thing I almost forgot is they also send a little travel jar. So if you're on the go like me, you still have your seed handy, which is really great. Uh, again, check the description if you want some more information and let's get back to the thrift haul. Okay, I have good stuff in here. <laughs> so I already showed you some of the stuff from the first time I checked out, whoopsie. Uh, but I went back in after my real estate call, plural, there were a couple, um, and went back in to buy some more stuff. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got after the first round. And I actually got a few things for myself, which I was pretty excited about because I'm always a little bit on the hunt for, you know, as we all probably are, but all right, where do I want to start? I think this one we already went through. That was the first time. And I forgot to bring bags with me today, but I reuse these bags pretty often. So, all right, this is pretty cute and it's vintage and it's a little skirt set. So the price on this was for both items. Uh, I, everything except the red color was 20% off with my coupon. And then the red color was 50% off. So this is a Valentino vintage it's the Miss V Made in Italy little skirt set. And I love this because it's got the hound's tooth, which is just super classic. I looked up comps when I was in there and some of these are selling for around $100, very similar to this. So um, I'm pretty excited about this. I love occasionally picking up a vintage item. This isn't for you, dog. And uh, I was about to say, is the zipper broke? <laughs> with my luck, but no, it's, it seems to be in good condition and you know, $15 with 20% off and potentially sell it for a hundred dollars. That would be, I think a really good flip. This is equipment femme and this is a little very lightweight cashmere sweater. Uh, it's a size small and this was regular price at $7.99, so I got 20% off of that. But obviously, I think it's pretty adorable. It's really a nice like fall spring piece just because it's so lightweight, but feels super soft and I do like selling this brand. I think I've sold one sweater from equipment and I don't think it was the quickest seller, but I mean, can you go wrong with polka dots and fun? All right, here's a pair of Lululemon leggings. These were not marked up, which is always surprising. They were $7.99. Uh, the reason I picked these up were because they had pockets on the side and they seem to be in pretty good condition. And here's the little, the little logo. So I didn't look for a size dot, but I'm sure it's in here somewhere. And just by the look of it, I'm guessing it's probably fairly tiny, size four. So um, yeah, but I picked those up. 
This I grabbed for me. <laughs> uh, this is just a basic black tee. I did try it on over my outfit. It looks like it's a good fit. It's Uniqlo and I just wear a lot of t-shirts and jeans and this, I don't think I've ever worn one of their, I've never worn a Uniqlo item. So, you know, but all right, this is a Lululemon tee t-shirt and I didn't look for the size. It may not have it because sometimes the t-shirts don't have it. Um, and sometimes they're like on the little hem, but I decided to grab this because I thought it might look like it will fit me. And you know, I go to the gym, I go on walks and it's just something other than just a black tee. <laughs> so I decided to grab that. If I try it on and I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I will sell it. I probably wouldn't have picked that up unless I was hoping to try it for myself. All right, this is a brand that I love selling and it's pronounced Zarina, but it starts with the X. Um, and I've sold this exact top a few times. It's been a while since I picked up this brand, but this top, I think it's called the Bow, B-E-A-U top. It's been a while, but I think that's what it is. Anyways, it usually has done pretty well for me. This was 20% off the $6.99. Um, and usually I think these go for around the 40 to 50 mark in comps. So we'll see. All right, these two... <laughs> And if, if I picked up anything for myself um, and they don't fit or I don't like them when I get, I can always exchange them. But um, I picked up this, which I'm ready for fall. And this just looks like a really cozy, comfy cardigan. I like that it's got a little bit of the Western or the Aztec print. And it's the Akote, which is Urban Outfitters. This I just figured for me, to wear this fall and winter. I mean, how cute is that? So I, if this, if I don't decide to keep it, I'll exchange it because this brand doesn't do particularly well for me. And it does have some light pilling, but I thought it was pretty cute and let's go fall. All right, this is pretty adorable and it's a size large Kate Spade. I like picking up Kate Spade if it's colorful and fun and quirky. I don't like picking up Kate Spade if it's just kind of a basic uh, because I don't think that's, well, for me, that those don't sell. But I could not pass this up. It's a great size. It is kind of a spring summer item. So I'm gonna get this, all of this will be listed by the time this video goes up, but how adorable. It's just the Kate Spade tag and absolutely love this. This was 20% off the $6.99 which is not bad. This is a Ted Baker dress and Ted Baker dresses have done well for me in the past as far as comps. They don't typically sell the quickest for me. Um, and Ted Baker has vanity sizing. So size two for Ted Baker, I wanna say it's like a six or something like that, an eight, but I hope this can fit on my mannequin. It's a nice little sheath dress. It's got some padding on the shoulders and it's kind of a cute little print. I don't actually know what the print is. Maybe like butterflies or watercolor. I don't know, but I do like that. All right, this was a new brand for me and the, a lot of the comps were kind of in the 30 to 40 for similar items. I think some of them went down to 20, but enough of them were consistent in the 30 to 40 range that I thought I will give it a shot. It's called Majestic Paris. And the reason I decided to look this up was because it was a cotton cashmere blend and it said made in Europe. So it's got a little ombre look to it. It's just a basic long sleeve tee, um, but it was 50% off and I like trying new brands. So I'm gonna give this a go list it and see, see what's going on. All right, and then a few more things for myself. This is a loft top, I believe. Yeah, it's just loft, size large. I figured I could wear this with jeans and a cute little pair of, you know, pumps or something for real estate. I'm always looking for real estate tops that are still casual, but also look professional. So this is also another one. <laughs> that I can wear, you know, it's loft size large. I thought this was pretty cute. It's also a great color for fall. So with a pair of jeans and maybe some boots or sandals. And then this is the last item for me. This is not your daughter's jeans, size large. It's just a sweater, but it's got the little 
you know, shirt coming out underneath. So again, I thought this would be great with jeans and some shoes for real estate. So that is it. I am going to show you the stuff, some of the stuff that I left behind and talk through that. And so let's go, let's go see what I didn't pick up. All right, so all of this I left behind, but are brands that I pick up pretty often. Uh, this is an Eileen Fisher. It was 50% off, but it was, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, it's a size extra small. Um, it's brown. I don't have much luck with that color in general. Um, so I just, I left it. <laughs> Here's a chaser. It's a size large. It's got a cute print, but I really don't pick up too much chaser anymore. It just hasn't really done well. Um, it sits and it doesn't sell for a lot, so I left it. Here's a really nice Lafayette 148 jacket. I really love this color. It's got a summer, summery vibe to it. Um, it also is 50% off, but again, this brand is really, really more missed than hit for me. And so, um, yeah, I didn't think it was worth it. A size four, I left it. This is a Cupcakes and Cashmere. And while I have picked up this brand in the past, and you can see the retail is like 150 or something around that there, um, this brand does not get much for me, even if it's new with tags, even if it's a cute style like this, I just decided to pass. This was absolutely adorable. It's a St. John sport. I don't really care for the sport line very much, but look at these little ladybugs on the buttons and the wrists. It had some staining on the wrist area and I just decided I'm not going to dry clean it. I'm not going to try and wash it. So I I'll leave that for someone else, but absolutely adorable. If it wasn't stained, I would have grabbed it. This is a free people top that I have picked up and sold before. Uh, absolutely adorable, love this color, but free people, unless it's really spectacular, I will pass on it and you know, $8, even with the discount of 20% off, it just wouldn't make sense. I could probably get 20, maybe 25 for that, but it's just wasn't worth it for me. This is a marine layer. It's a little hoodie, full zip, lightweight. I've sold this a couple times. This was half off but it had some pretty significant pilling all over. Not significant, but enough pilling that I was uncomfortable with the wear. And I do like the brand. And if it were in better condition, I would have grabbed it. Same as this one, American Giant. I absolutely love this brand, selling it and wearing it. But again, not the best condition and uh, definitely not worth the full price, even with the coupon. So I left that, but I do really love that brand. All right, here's a couple pairs of pants. This is Babaton Group, which is an Aritzia um line and i did like the style of these uh but they're white we're going out of you know summer here soon and full price not a terrible price for full price but i just i decided to leave them behind all right right next to this probably the same person because they were the same size is a pair of reformation jeans uh i thought they were funky enough to get and take a chance on them and reformation does have a pretty loyal following but i noticed these very fine faint tiny spots um, in multiple places. So definitely not gonna do stain treatment on something uh, this eccentric that I'm unsure of. So I passed. Um, this is Anne Mashburn and I've sold her once before. Her jeans comps were, or the comps for jeans like these range from 20 to 100. And her stuff is pretty expensive, but it was a, a fairly small size, I think a 25. Nothing too exciting about them, so I decided to pass. Here's a pair of current Elliott jeans. These were half off, so it was tempting to grab these. I occasionally pick up this brand, but I leave it more often than not. It is a Los Angeles brand. It is pretty expensive retail, but it usually takes a long time for me to sell items, and these weren't anything too exciting, so I left them. All right, next up is a pair of New Attacks Free People jeans. Um, so, even new attacks. This is just skinny, distressed, nothing too exciting. It just, free people jeans in general don't do well for me. Um, but at that price, I definitely wasn't going to grab them. Slim Straight, Pilcro, and the Letter Press. Um, I liked these and I do like picking up Pilcro every once in a while, but at full price, they're just a little too basic. I'm pretty sure they were going to sit for a while. And so I left those. This is a brand I've sold a couple times and I've had it sitting for a while. Some of the, like one or two in my closet. Rev Revice, I think is how you say it. They have some usually pretty funky styles. You can see right here, they have kind of an unusual style on the front waist area. They also had kind of this sheen or shimmer, but I decided to pass on them. I wasn't too thrilled. 
This is a pair of mother. I do like picking up mother, but these were, you know, puckering in the front, not in the best condition. Also looked kind of like an older style. So definitely left those behind. This is two of the same top intimately free people. Um, and if these were at the bins, I would pick them up because they're lightweight and I would bundle them as like one item. <laughs> Clearly I can't film and hold things at the same time, but, uh, but at, you know, thrift store prices, I would not do that and definitely not worth, worth it at that price point. Here's a rag and bone kind of top. It's not really a t-shirt. It's not really a sweater. Anyways, I do occasionally pick up rag and bone, but this is a cropped kind of basic, um, you know, if I got that at the bins, I could probably sell it for $20, but definitely not worth a thrift store price for me. This is free people one. I do like this line. Um, but I noticed that this wasn't in the best condition. Um, there, I think there were some marks on here and there was like a very small, what could be a whole soon type of thing. I like the style and I do like this line, but here you can see that little imperfection. And anyways, I passed here is a rails top. This is just kind of basic rails. I'm pretty picky with. It's got to be either a larger size or a really great flannel with no signs of wear. This was half off, but I wasn't even tempted. Um, ex you know, rails is pretty expensive, but these types of things don't typically do well for me. Absolutely loved this top. It's made by anthropology. I loved the print and the colorfulness. I knew it would photograph well. Uh, but there was a problem with it. And now I'm trying to, I think there were some like small marks on there. Anyways, it was $9. No, it wasn't. I don't think it was flawed. I think it was just $9 is way too much for a Maeve top. I think that's what it is. So I left it. Here's Anthropology Fleurite. I really liked this um, little cardigan top kimono-ish style. Um, liked the colors. Fleurite used to do better for me. These days, it's, it's just not, doesn't get all that much for most pieces. Um, so if this were maybe half off, I might've grabbed it, but for $10, $8 with the coupon, I just didn't think it was worth it. A little too risky. So yeah, this is a Patagonia tea. And while I love Patagonia, as obviously I already picked it up in this haul, um, their t-shirts, I probably won't pick up maybe at the bins if I was okay selling them for 2025, but, um, definitely not thrift store prices. I really liked this Madewell top and if it were a larger size, I maybe would have grabbed it. I love the stripes cause they're classic. I like brown stripes cause it's a little bit different than like blue or black, but um, you know, $9 with the coupon, $7 for Madewell top. That's probably only going to sell for 20 bucks. Definitely not worth it, but I like the style. This is Mage, Mage, Maj. I can't remember. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments, but this is a little dress and this brand has done okay with me with certain styles, but it's gotta be in really good condition. And I could already tell there was a little pull. There's probably some stains. It's, it, I mean, it's a white dress in a thrift store. <laughs> what are you, you know, I, my expectations are low. So I passed on that. I really like this Madewell top. Um, I think it was silk, really nice button front shirt. I was just at this point, there's gotta be a stain and I'm pretty sure I found some. Plus at $10, um, definitely not. Even if it was in great condition, it wouldn't be worth it for me, so. All right, this is a brand I've tried to sell in jeans before, which is Coral. They make athletic wear and I've picked up jeans before and the jeans have not moved. Um, and yeah, I think some of their athletic wear stuff can do pretty well, but in general, I'm not too excited about that brand. Um, here's Eileen Fisher, which is always a brand I'm excited about <laughs> just cause it's bread and butter. This is 50% off. I don't do really well with these kinds of pants from Eileen. Um, so I have kind of stopped picking up basic pants and really just stick to kind of the sweaters, the tunics and jackets and that kind of stuff, but definitely wasn't going to bring that home. This is another free people item. It's a cute dress. I really like it, but it's size two or four. So it's pretty tiny. It won't fit on my mannequin. And you know, if maybe if this were a couple dollars, I would grab it cause it's pretty cute style, but you know, $8, it's just too steep. I really like this dress. It's by Parker, which I personally like Parker as a brand and it, it is pretty expensive. I don't even know if it's around anymore, but I cannot sell it for the life of me <laughs> at all. So I just don't even pick it up anymore. Um, but hopefully if someone gets that, you know, just, to buy it in the thrift store to wear because I think it's just a cute little print. This brand is a CrossFit brand, Noble, and I had never looked up their tees, so I decided to look this up because I've sold their shoes before. 
Um, some other tees can sell for 2025, but um, this one, I didn't think it was worth thrift store price. Maybe if it were at the bins, but yeah. So here is my second cart at this store. This is my second time checking out. And yeah, I think overall it was a really fun day.